How's it going guys? My name is Asian and welcome back to this level video. Today I'll talk about the new Spider's Den update along with combat update and a lot of new stuff. So basically they had a new update today where Combat 60 is now a thing. So if you go into your Skyblock menu and you go into their combat menu, you can see that it goes all the way up to 60. Um, so just more damage, more crit chance, and stuff like that. And also you can notice that there is this thing, which is the bestiary. So the bestiary thing is basically uh, just a list of all the mobs in Hypixel Skyblock. And basically you can just like go through all of them and see how many like see how many you've killed of each of them um and the more you kill of each mob the higher tier you get and the higher tier you are of a mob you will do more damage to them and you also have more magic binds toward them so say i took like say um i don't know the end or something and i look at the obsidian defender so i'm obsidian defender tier 9 so i'll have thir plus 13 magic find and plus 13 strength against against them along with nine percent more coins uh from killing them and and more xp orbs i guess which is like the green bar down here so yeah, it's just for every mob in high pixel skyblock except for slayers and uh talk about slayers tier 5 revenant horror hasn't even come out yet so yeah hopefully that'll come out soon because it is a combat update and they have somewhat to do with combat because they're like kind of a good way for grinding combat xp uh, but yeah, there's the auto slayer that was leaked and the RN Jesus thing that was leaked. So hopefully the uh, tier five Revenant Horror will come out soon. But let's talk about the most important part of the update, which is the Spider's Den. So sorry if my chat gets me on my guild is kind of excited about this update because it's new. So we got a Spider's Den a revamp, I guess. So if you go to the spawn, which is right here, you'll see that it has totally changed. There's like these trees here and just looks different i guess but the most important part is uh this house up here so if you go up here uh and you can see that there's more npc so this guy's the beast deary dude he looks like some relative um maddox and because he like kills all these spiders and stuff <laughs> so if you just talk to him he just has some dialogue um and his house is actually looks pretty nice he has like <laughs> his house looks kind of terrifying um, but we have more NPCs right here, so Shaggy just has some um, more dialogue. But the Grandma Wolf right here, so basically what she does is she gives you a wolf pet. Obviously, I've already claimed the wolf pet, um, and as you can see, it's right here. I have it equipped. Where is it? Um, where the hell is my wolf? Okay, there it is. So it is legendary. You can it starts off as a common, then you can get it to legendary. The way you get it to legendary is by just um, claiming it. Then if you have enough bestiary things unlocked, if you have enough of them unlocked, I have like what I have a lot of them unlocked, like ninety percent of them, or those are families, but I guess like beasts unlocked. Uh, you can get it to legendary, so it goes up by rarity by rarity. So uh, rare, I. Uh, Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. So you just need to like have a lot of things killed to uh, get to legendary, and it's a pretty cool pet. So basically, what the pet does, and I or I can't find it. Okay, basically what the pet does is uh, basically you can get kill combos. So like in Call of Duty, you get kill, kill combos to launch a nuclear bomb. Uh, in this case, you get kill combos to get more magic finds. So the Basically, the magic find is like temporary. It expires when the kill combo ends, or like when you stop killing stuff to get to the next tier of a combo. But as you can see here, it goes up to a 30 kill combo, which gives you plus 20 coins per kill and plus uh, 9 magic find and plus 15 combat XP. So, this pet might be pretty good uh, for getting some combat xp while doing ghosts because ghosts are one of the best ways to get combat xp it's a pretty cool pet uh and we also have some new stuff right here so if you go behind this house uh as you can see there's a new fishing spot where people might want to fish right here uh, if you go into this cave right behind the house uh there are the new mobs so uh as you can see they're just a ferocious and splitter or spiders but randomly sometimes randomly the special ones spawn and they have a chance to drop a fragment so not an arcane arcanine or that whatever it's called arachnid fragment 
uh, they have a chance to drop one of these Arachnid Keeper's Fragment. Uh, and the way you get one of these is by just spawning the spider. Oh, I'm gonna die because I'm wearing elegant tux. <laughs> the way you uh, the way you get these is by killing the boss spider thing, uh, which you need. Oh yeah, people are placing. People are placing, <laughs> and then basically you have to spawn the boss by placing the keeper fragment, which you randomly get from killing a bot or killing them like the new mobs, I guess. Where? Where I need it? <laughs> I need to find the boss. Okay, the, this is kind of confusing. Like, no joke. It, everything looks the same. All right, there we go. All right, let's spawn a boss. Okay, so uh, magic damage does not work against it, which is why I was wearing that. And so I need my one for all giant. There you go. So magic magic damage does not work against it. Uh, so yeah, just know that. And you also get stuck in these webs, which is very annoying. There's like a bunch of webs. And it, it, yeah, you want to not get stuck in the webs. Because there's so many webs and you can't freaking hit the boss. Alright, I got I got the tier unlocked, I guess. Uh I did like no damage. Okay, so yeah, magic damage does not work against it. You have to hit it and your damage is very minimized. Uh when you hit it. Oh, there. You get like cool rewards, so you get this thing called a soul string. Yeah, you can make a spider queen string or bow thing. It's a new bow, I guess. Error shot using this bow, blah blah blah. So yeah, you just need a bunch of soul string and uh, six enchanted spider eyes to make this new bow. It's a new craft, I guess, so it should be in the recipe book, right? Yeah, we got, um, oh, we got a large combat sack. Oh, what the hell? Wait, I guess this picks up more items. Oh, I never knew about this, but you get a new large enchanted combat sack and you get, ooh, more bows. Okay, so we have more bows, nice. Uh, you could just look through all of them when you have the time. And then more bows. We got a new boss right here. So it's kind of like a dragon system. So basically you kill like the smaller mobs to get the fragments to spawn the bigger mo uh, sp bigger boss. And then, yeah. But you only need half the amount of, I guess, things right here. Because it's four instead of eight. So we got a new uh, talisman. So if you come to the iron collection, you can see that... There is a personal deleter, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, and the 7,000. So a new uh, legendary talisman that you can get, and you can recombobulate to a mythic. So basically what this thing does is it personally, or like it deletes, or while in your inventory, it deletes certain things from your inventory wherever you want. So you can delete training weights that you get in dungeons, which are very annoying because you can't really uh, throw them out if you if you're like already using one, it'll just go back into your inventory. So I'll definitely be putting them on training weights, but they're disabled right now. You can't really use them. So yeah, it's temporarily disabled because people were deleting other people's Hyperions with them. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a new talisman. And we also got new fairy souls. So as you can see, and if you go into the quest log, uh, there's two new fairy souls. So I think it's in the spider's end. Yep, they're in the spider's end somewhere around here. I don't know where they are, but yeah, more fairy souls. They're not going to really do anything right now because you need five of them to get an upgrade and there's only 222 right now. So yeah, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to be a completionist, you can go for them right now. But I guess we're spawning a new boss. I guess I'll do that. So since it doesn't take magic damage, uh, the, bo the boss is already spawning. Okay. And you're just supposed to hit this black orb. Uh, where the hell... Oh yeah, the exits are blocked. Okay, with webs. I'm assuming I can. I don't know what the hell this strap for this thing is. You just I can't. <laughs> I keep clicking on people, and you have like player viewer off or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did like no damage because I don't know how to damage it. Uh, so yeah, basically a dragon thing. Any, yeah, drop string arc whatever these fragments are. I don't know what these things do. Probably make the bows, probably make the new bows. And yeah, I that's basically the entire update. It's basically the end of the Spire's Den. Um, there's this thing, you just come down here, I guess. It's pretty hard to find because I couldn't find it my first few tries. Uh, spider Slayers will also be easier because uh, these things, the new spiders are actually higher level. So yeah, the Spider Slayers will be definitely easier with this new spider's in layout and you don't have to like AOT every time you get stuck in a web because there's not a lot of webs you can get stuck in, but yeah. 
So that was the entire update. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.